Welcome to Be Still and Know. I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. I confess that we have sinned against you. Yes, even my own family and I have sinned. We've sinned terribly by not obeying the commands, decrees, and regulations that you gave us through your servant Moses. Over the last few weeks, we've had a problem with a water leak. We live in a reasonably new house. We've seen water trickling down from the bathroom into the kitchen. We duly called in a plumber who used bright lights and careful instruments to discover where the leak was coming from. There are times in life when we just have to face the facts, uncomfortable as they may be. In a sense, that's what's happening when we come into the presence of a holy God. The truth about our lives is suddenly revealed. The fact is, we are sinners, and we live in a community that's sinful. Nehemiah knew that he had to be absolutely honest with God. At times, we like to play games with ourselves, don't we? We want to make out that we're not really that bad. We open the newspapers and compare ourselves with people who've committed appalling crimes, and then we feel better about ourselves. We would never do such things. But the reality is that we all fall far short of God's perfect standards, and we need his forgiveness if we're ever going to live in partnership with him. The wonderful truth is that if we're willing to confess our sins, God is willing to forgive us. When Jesus died on the cross, he took upon himself the full weight of our sin. Nehemiah's words remind me of Isaiah, who, faced with the holiness of God, felt thoroughly depressed. He cried out, it's all over, I'm doomed, for I'm a sinful man. I have filthy lips, and I live among a people with filthy lips. But then God sent a seraph, an angelic being, to cleanse his lips. Praise God that when we confess our sins, he is willing in the same moment to forgive us and set us free to live our lives to the full. Now let me ask you a question. How do you respond to the news that God longs to forgive you? Now let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you for the amazing and liberating gift of forgiveness. Amen. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier, or you might like to join the thousands of people who listen to this on podcast, which is, of course, available at any time. Thanks for joining me, and may God bless you today.